It's quiet. Too quiet. I quickly realized I had my headphones in. I could have done something, but I didn't. I like the quiet. I'm a private eye. API for short. You're probably wondering why the word I comes for the letter I. It's because detectives lost the term PE to high school sports programs. I don't like to talk about it. People consider me to be a snoop. I consider myself to be a guy who can find things through snooping. It's a tough job, but it pays the bills. Bill, the guy who saw me run over those two kids in Albania, and Bill, my parole officer. I was sitting at a table eating my lunch when she walked by. She was rather short and jumpy. She kept looking behind her like she's recently been released from prison. I'll never forget the first thing she said to me. And that was the last time I ever saw her. I was sitting in my office, drinking some herbal tea to ease my mind when she walked in. She was an odd dame known to the world as Miss Trius, but known to me as a client. She was a rather attractive woman with hair the color of, I, I, I don't know, I see the world in grayscale. She walked in like she just climbed 12 flights of stairs. I'll never forget what she said to me that night. Detective Noir, I just climbed up 12 flights of stairs to get you office. What seems to be the problem? I was visiting my friend Emma. She was dead. Murdered in cold blood. You have to help me. Yep, definitely a case. Still, I had to find out if I could trust Miss Trius. Why should I trust you? I know what happened in Albania. She made a good point. I went to her friend's apartment. And the plot thickens. Thoughts raced through my head. Twins? No. One of them only had a first name, while the other only had a last name. The kitchen was a complete disaster, showing evidence of a struggle. The fork was on the table makes it likely for it to be a weapon. However, the body is unmarked, meaning something else is a foot. There's a strange picture on the wall. Some kind of gargoyle? Why does it say Tommy? Hey, what's that? Bob Eric Johnson. I kill people for fun. I live on 420 69th Street. And there's a five-star review saying, at first I didn't trust Bob Eric, but quickly realized he was barbaric. Maybe Emma wanted to hire him. It's a business card for a hitman at a murder scene. I'm gonna have to talk to this Bob Eric guy. It's too obvious. Nobody is so stupid as to just leave their business card where they just killed someone. It wouldn't hurt to talk to him. La 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 la, I can't hear you. You're really doing this. The last time I listened to you, I got put in jail for phony police calls. I'm still on my parole. Everything that's gone wrong in my life has been because of you, you sick son of a. What are you saying, hell? There's no one on you, Hey, what are you doing here? Authorized personnel only. Either you get out of here, or I'm gonna make you leave. The cop was blocking the doorway. I considered hiding, but he'd already seen me. Only one option. Fight. What? Using my quick in instincts and agile reflexes, I climbed up top of the kitchen counter, using the light in the center of the ceiling as a handle. I swung across the room, did a backflip in midair, and drop kicked the cop square in his face. He never knew what happened, and I managed to make it out unscratched. I can't do a backflip. Also, this is a New York cop. I'd be caught dead if I was on a light fixture. I'm, sh I'm just gonna talk to him. No, wait, don't! Hey, officer. I'm so sorry. Um, but you see, I'm a private eye, API for short. Oh, crap. I knew you'd be back. I should have you arrested because the parameters of your parole dictate that you should not be coming out of your office. I can get you locked up like the milkman. But it's 8.30. Ain't you know what that means. It's dim sun, dim dim. I'm talking about 8.30, breakfast, dim sum, me, not you, me, dim sum, and it's a lump sum, if you know what I mean. So, go ahead and go about your business, I'm gonna go about mine, you don't tell nobody nothing, alright? Alright. Oh! And hey! I don't know what kind of person you are. You freak, you weirdo. Don't run over any more kids. <laughs> yeah, 
know you like that. Running over children. <sighs> How many people did Bill tell? All the clues were coming together. The fork, the cloth, Tommy the gargoyle. Bob Eric's business card? No, you idiot. Not Bob Eric's business card. Look, just trust my instincts. Counterpoint, your instincts are stupid. Just trust me. Fine. So, detective, have you solved the case yet? And did I deed, mysterious. All the clues lead to one person. Only one man in this world is sick and twisted enough to do this. It was you, the director. You killed Emma and tried to frame some guy named Bob Eric. What are you even talking about? I can see through your tricks. So tell me, why'd you do it? I didn't. You are completely and 100% totally wrong. Dang it. I told you. Uh, ready scene 4G. All right. Hey, you! Well, well, well. You, my eyes deceive me. I come back from my sweet, 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 dim sum, din din, to find out that you are breaking the fourth wall in violation of section four, subset one C of your parole. You are now under arrest. How can you do this to me? Make me violate my parole? Girls gotta do what girls come to, Noir. How was I supposed to know you were on parole? I thought nobody knew about Albania. I knew about Albania. All right. This was the end. They were going to lock me up. I found the killer. Shut up already! Who are you talking to, man? Man, your fedora looks stupid. I live and breathe. Howdy, partner. Howdy. How long has it been? Far too long, brother. Far too long. Couldn't agree more. Brought you a present. Oh. Kind of dim sum. Hmm. From fruitful valleys, we do depart. And may it bring us back to the start. Sure you know how to please a man? As I always do, brother. <laughs>